Alexa, play Rockabilly Radio. Rockabilly Radio from TuneIn. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, Kit Hartley here in the shed, and today I'm making a cap uh, for this uh, rear brake lever arm. Um, I've remade this whole assembly here because I didn't like the old one and uh, it just didn't look nice at all. So I've made a washer for there to so stop the grease coming out the end there. And the other problem is that when I tighten this end nut up, it tightens up the whole assembly, obviously because it's pressing on the bear on the um, spacers there. So I'm going to make an aluminium cap to go over that, centre drill that um, threaded bar, um, rod there, and that will stop the nut going anywhere if it does. I mean, I've got to back it off anyway, but the cap will stop the nut coming off altogether. I think the cap as well, I'll probably use thread lock anyway, just to keep it in place. Make sure, well it won't come out. So I'm going to centre drill that, make an aluminium cap for the end, and that's going to be my shed job of the day. Okay, so I've, uh, I've had a little measure up, and uh, basically we've got to go 3 mil, 13 mil from that edge of the washer out to there. And that's in total. It's got a 5 mil wall thickness to allow for the countersunk screw, and that's going to be screwed into the center of the bar there and basically the wall thickness is only going to be about two mil but that's all right the thickness of the powder coat will come up a bit anyway so you know when I've made this washer we should be about right I think so so yeah so nice to write it all down before you do anything at least you know where you are you can double double check your measurements and everything. I've got a bit of alley bar, um, it's about 38 mil I think, so I've got to machine that down a bit, yeah, 38 and want to go down to 24, <laughs> oh well, got to do what you got to do. Right well I've um, chopped a bit off that bar and just stuck it in the outside jaws on the mini lathe and uh, we're running pretty straight, I think. It's only a cap. So uh, I'll, I'll square off this uh, face. I'll face it, then I'll um, take it, uh, probably swap it round so we've got at least a, a level face on the back. Because I've, cho I've chopped that end off by hand, so you know it's not going to be very good. Well, both, both ends now are chopped off by hand. So, right, we'll get facing that off. So I find this is a good way just to make sure that the tool is on centre. Of course. There we go, no pip, so we're bang on. But for the money, this mini leg is really good. I, I'm quite impressed with it. You've got to be prepared to sort of take on a few improvements on it, you know, like fitting um, extra jib screws, you know, to make it more sturdy. That's the only thing with them, they're not very rigid. But if you're only making things like this, they're fine. Right, I'll give it another four. That's a mill I took off then. Give it a bit of WD-40 to open it out a bit. I'll just stop that now and have a look at the finish. Not too bothered, because it'll take loads off anyway. We're just making sure we've gone we've gone through it all, which we have, I think. Right, well, hopefully you can see some of this. Um, I'm using a spotting drill instead of a, a centre drill. I just prefer them, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a pass-through hole at 5mm. This is a 6mm spotting hole, so obviously I don't want to go too deep anyway. But uh, this should be fine. So that's the next process then. Spotting drill going in. It's nice and steady. Right, 
Come on, dude. Okay, time for the uh, five mil drill bit. Right, that should be enough. Thirty-eight, I think we said. Yeah, thirty-eight. So we need to come down to twenty-four. That's fourteen. Fourteen mil got to come off it. So that's seven aside. So obviously, there's two sides of this thing. So taking seven off will be fourteen in total. So I'm just going to have a touch off on this edge. There. I've set my gauge to zero, so I know roughly where I am. That's on zero now. I need seven mil off. So I'm going to try half a mil at a time. And we need to go across thirteen mil. 13 mil. As I say, not, not massively important. Just so I know roughly where I'm going. That's the other side of that line. I'll do, I'll do a scratch and we'll see how we get on. It's quite a nice finish that. You always look worse on camera, but when you look at them, this looks proper chromey looking, you know. It's nice cut. Sorry if you can't hear me very well, but uh, I haven't got my usual vlogging setup around me, you know. It's, I've put my camera back on the helmet for now because we'll be out on the road soon. I'm checking we're nowhere near those jaws, of course. I should have checked that manually, really, but we're nowhere near it. We're good quarter inch off yet. Right, I'm just going to see where we are at that. We want to be about 13 mil. We're a bit shy. A little bit shy. This is what you're supposed to do. Go there and make sure nothing's clattering with it. You can see there's plenty of clearance there. Take another little scratch more. That I like. Bang on. Right, so I've done half a mil. Put another half on. Takes me around to my first one mil. You have to take your time with these machines, but they won't take a load of, you know, a big load in one go. So really half a mil or three quarters is about your maximum. Well, they'll start knocking your uh, piece out of line and everything. Seems a bit gritty. Just 
watching it where the shine is so I can judge where to stop, that's it. Okie dokie. And just watch the shine until that disappears. That's one and a half mil. We'll go another 20, that'll be two mil off. Be a bit kind to it, give it a bit of a, a WD-40 every now and again. People often ask, ask me, um, are these worth having, you know, are they any good? And I'll just say, well, you know, it depends what you want to make really. If you want to do serious engineering, then no, don't go there. But if you just want to make little things like this for your motorbike project, they're brilliant. And you can carry them, you can take them different places if you've got to, you know, or just bolt them down at home and uh, you're happy. Right, that's another mill. Tick that off. Right, so I think I'll put the feed on it for now. Sorry, ain't gonna do so much. There we go. So that's that. There you go. It's doing it itself. And so that's a really nice finish. I know it's only aluminium, but it's easy anyway. But. Uh, that is gorgeous. Ready to take the feed off right now. Just I should do a bit quicker than that. Just do it by hand. Okay, we've got um, 24.6 at the moment, so we've got a little bit to come off. I'm just going to make a few polishing passes. I'm not going to rely on these uh, <laughs> settings on here. Um, so, yeah, I've actually come out another couple of mil because I'm not allowed for the part off blade which is two mil so this is now should be 15 mil so we're okay and we're outside the jaws obviously we're safe so uh, yeah just 0 0.69 I think it is to come off so we'll just do a few polishing passes on that and see how we get on I don't know about you when I watch lathe and machining videos on YouTube it makes me fall asleep it's just the sound I think of the lathe going around and I'm just asleep within minutes I wouldn't mind, but I'm really interested in the videos and end up falling asleep on them all. But it will take a very slight amount off, and it's really good at that. It's not very good at taking a very big amount off. In Foxborough, Massachusetts, just 30 miles outside of 24.23. Yeah. I could be all day worrying about that quarter of a mil and I ain't. So, I think next thing to do, I'll just put a little bit of a chamfer on that to get rid of the sharp edge. So that's uh, not very safe. Next plan is the difficult bit. We've got to bore this out to exactly eight mil. Okay, well I've uh, <coughs> I've drilled out pretty much as big as I can go with up to thirteen mil at uh, eight mil deep. We've still got the the chamfer of the drill bit, if you know what I mean, the uh, flute. So I've got to judge it now with the boring tool and try and get that uh, magic eight mil. See how we get on, and let's go. Oh, 
quite there, but I'll have a measure. 19, exactly, 19, 19. We need 20.5, so we'll keep going. This should give us 20. Okay, we're back again and uh, I've just cleaned up that back edge because <coughs> it was um, it was a bit stepped and it the nut didn't quite fit in so there we go we're eight mil in which is good and the, the telltale sign is does the part fit that's good enough for me of course uh, when that's flush that nut should disappear flush with that which looks good to me boss so that's that. Now, what we've got to do? We've got to part it off, champ for the outside edge. We'll have to turn it around for that. Hopefully, it won't mark it. But yeah, part it off and uh, see how we get on. Okay, I squared off the parting tool. These machines are notoriously bad at parting off, so this might take a while and it might be might be going terribly wrong. But anyway, I've squared this up with the back of the chuck. I've just set, checked its centre by pushing against uh, the uh, a ruler here. So obviously there's an old trick that if it if it's leaning that way you're too low, and if it's leaning that way you're too high. But we're bang on centre by the looks of it, so that's good. So I've not had to change anything there. Yeah, I had to turn it round. It was too close to the jaws for comfort. <coughs> you got to be so careful; it will just lock up on you. It'll lock the thing out of line, it will bloody scratch it and everything, so you've got to be so slow with these bloody things. I think even putting your hand on it sometimes just makes a difference. I mean, you just press down on the handle there, that can make a difference when you let go of it. I've seen people on lathes and they've just, you know, just gone through it. With this don't, it's got mine of its own. I hate I hate parting off on this. Sometimes I think I'd be better off with a saw. Just don't like it when you're feeding in and nothing happens. And all of a sudden it goes crazy. <laughs> Usual thing, you got to use loads of lube as well. Loads of uh, coolant or whatever. WD-40. So it's not chopped anything off for a minute, so I'm just going to let it rest for a bit and see if it decides to. If not, you just give it a little tap and it will take a big chunk out of it. come back when we got near the end. Chamfer in there now and chamfer on the outside. Right, 
we've got a counter sunk here and if we look at it profile's about right can't actually see what I'm doing but yeah so the profile's about right up to that shoulder there so that's what we're going to do okay let's have a look at that Very neat, is it? A bit chumpy. Yeah. I wonder if uh, if I just put the file on that, it might be about right. If not, I'll just have to go in a little bit further. Just slightly proud, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, um, we've got the uh, the threaded bar in now. We're going to uh, drill this out, centre drill it out for um, M5. So I'm just going to clean up this edge first. Don't want to take much off, you know, just clean it up. made gob I use this um, <clears throat> this is what I use the uh, metal cutting compound which is really thick it's like tar and if you mix it up with um, um, M uh, WD-40 it, it makes it manageable you know instead of this being this really thick shit anyway let's go Turning on something, there's like a, a hard bit in the middle, I think. I had that the other day with um, a centre drill, that's why I didn't like using them, but this has done it with this as well. Going through now, though. Point two mil drill. See if we can find one. I've labelled one up for quick, quick finding. Four point three. Near enough. I put a four mil through first. Instead of ruining me tapping drill in case. Tapping drill's got less work to do then, hasn't it? Send this through till it stops. Should be quite easy. It's only cutting uh, point two of a mil. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, 
Okay, that should be our tapping hole size and it should be in the middle here. Turn the machine off. bottom out on this one, I think that'll do. Yeah, so basically that's it. It's quite neat really, just tidies that up, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll take some pictures, put them on Facebook or something, and uh, go in and have a cup of tea. Must be time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.